For our sheet metal, we're going to work from Paul Tran's SOLIDWORKS 2020 Advanced Techniques, and we're starting with Chapter 13. So our first sheet metal part is going to start with the sketch as shown here in the right plane. Now that I've created the sketch and it's fully defined, I'm going to right click and exit the sketch. My sketch is highlighted and I'm going to tell it this is my base flange. So I'll select the base flange, then in direction 1, I'm going to tell it it's a mid-plane extrusion. The distance is going to be 4 inches, so I get my preview. I'm also going to work from the sheet metal gauge table, so I'm going to enable that. Now I need to select my table, and I'm going to scroll down and select the sample table steel English units. I'm going to continue coming down in this window. For the sheet metal, I'm going to tell it it's 16 gauge. Here, grayed out, it tells me the thickness is roughly 60 thou. I could choose to override the thickness if I want, and I could also change the direction that the sheet metal goes relative to the sketch line. So the bend radius recommended is 75 thou, but I'm going to follow the book, so I'm going to turn on override the radius, and I'm going to put it down to 30 thou, a very tight bend radius, and we'll notice how that changed here on the inside. For the bend allowance, I'm going to stick with the K factor, and I'll accept the default values down here for the auto relief. I'll say OK, and there's my first sheet metal part. And you'll notice it's turned on the sheet metal here, and I have my base flange in my flat pattern. So before we go any further, I just want to discuss a little bit of this. I like to see my part was shaded with edges. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So what do we see inside the sheet metal folder? We have a couple of things. We have a gauge table, which is an equation telling it the thickness of the material, and we have this. We also see this grayed out flat pattern folder, so I'm going to expand it, and a flat pattern. All of these we'll come back to in later videos. For now, I just want to focus on what is this flat pattern. Well, I can right click here and I can unsuppress it, and it shows me what my part will be before it's bent. Notice this was turned on. If I click on it here, it goes back, flat pattern's grayed out, so I can flatten it with this and unflatten it or by right clicking here when I expand this folder. In the next video we're going to continue on and finish more of this